Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here. Today, let's talk quickly about how to check a battery. Every car's got one, even the electric ones. <laughs> you don't check the electric ones like this, it's a whole different process. This is just for the normal 12 volt car battery, uh, 6 volt, but I don't, I don't know how many of you out there with 6 volt batteries in your cars, unless you've got something really wicked old. And in that case, you probably want to put an 8 volt in there because uh, they have them now and it's really good for storing them for long periods of time. I'm off on a tangent. Uh, if you suspect that your battery is low and let's just say just about any electrical problem on your car, the alpha and omega of the electrical system in your car is the battery. If your battery is, in a good, is, in a, is not in good condition, the rest of the electrical system will either have to compensate, make up for, or suffer as a result of that battery not being good. Particularly with, like, say, your luxury cars that have lots of uh, electrical doodads and gadgets and all kinds of fun things, heated and cooled seats, all that stuff, is really hard on an electrical system. I'm of the opinion, I've even seen brand new cars come in that barely crank over and I wonder if they are going to crank over. In fact, I've, I've had customers with new cars come in and say, my car's not cranking very fast, can you check the battery? I agree with them. It seems that uh, these days that batteries, at least that come with the vehicle originally, are engineered within a couple of electrons of just enough. And uh, they're probably doing this to save cost, but as a result, uh, if the battery gets weak in any way, shape, or form, it could manifest in all kinds of electrical issues in the car. So I'm gonna just get to the whole thing right now. You will need a battery load tester. This is one that I just got. It's kinda cool, didn't cost a whole lot. But what you wanna do is connect it to the battery. Let's do that now. Whenever you're talking about the battery, you really have to be mindful of a couple of things. It really is important that the battery is clean. If it's not clean and there's a bunch of goopy stuff up here, clean it off with the solution of baking soda and water and a brush. Clean it all off the whole top because believe it or not, the voltage can bleed off of the battery as a result of the dirt that's on top of it. So you want to make sure that not only the battery is clean, but most importantly, the terminal connections where the battery actually meets the car uh, is clean because if there's any corrosion or resistance in this area, it's going to hamper the performance of the battery. So you want to make sure that the terminals are nice and clean. And also, here's the other thing. If your battery is dead and you can't start the car, don't do this test. Just don't do it. Because you need to have a fully charged battery in order to figure this out. There may be something draining the battery. You know, there could be a whole host, host of things. But you cannot check a battery's condition without it being fully charged. I have fully charged this battery, took it out and drove it. I had some other things to look at on this car, but I know this battery is as fully charged as it's going to be. So, I'm going to connect the clamps. You have positive for positive, that would be the red one, and you have negative for negative. As you can see, right now my battery is actually over 12 volts. Now this switch right here controls a load tester. And I'm gonna do something I should have done before. If you're working around a battery, particularly one that stinks, smells like rotten eggs, it's got hydrogen gas around the outside of it and could potentially explode. So I'm gonna grab my safety glasses. This way, if it explodes, I'll be able to play the lead in Phantom of the Opera, but I'll still be able to see. Okay, so now we see I'm a little over 12 volts. You want to load the battery, not for an extended period of time, but the magic number here is going to be 9 volts. If this battery goes below 9 volts when I load test it, then I want to replace the battery because I know it's fully charged, I know it's not going to get better. So if it falls below 9 volts, chuck it. As you can see, I'm just going down to about 11 volts. I could do an entire episode just on batteries, but this is just on checking one really quick, so 9 volts is your magic number. You've got some numbers on the top here, and cold cranking amps being probably the most important one. Uh, this one has 540 cold cranking amps. You want to make sure that the battery that's in the car is able to crank the car over in the coldest of conditions, because that's when a battery has to work the hardest. That's what that number there does. And this is cranking amps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 675. So this is basically what this 
what the amperage of this battery can put out during those cold conditions. And that's basically how battery capacity is measured. Uh, if you truly want to do this test, you actually go through and do some calculations based on the cold cranking amps for the amount of time that you would actually hold the load on the battery in order to determine accurate condition. But this is a quick test to basically say, if you're below nine volts, get rid of it. Or nine volts or below, let's say. If you do the load test and it's below nine volts, chuck it. But if it's above nine volts, like I had there around 11, and you're having a battery drain problem, you gotta look elsewhere, which is what I've gotta do here. So here's a battery that I know is bad. I've had it charging up for a while, but you can see it's even, the best charge I can get is not even 12 volts, but when you hit the load, way down there. So, yeah, and it won't even come back up. So that's what a bad battery normally does. Like I said, I could do a whole video just on batteries and how they work and all that, and I probably will at some point in the future. But this is just to quickly show you what to check and what to look for while you're checking it. Questions, comments, always welcome. Uh, that kind of thing down below here. You can always visit me at ericcarguy.com. A link is also po posted below in here. And, uh, you know, as usual, I, I want you to go out there into the world and really think about what it is to stay dirty.